Jame is going to give us a little tour of his post harvest area and this area has changed. I've seen this change over the last couple years. There's a few things different now than there was uh, when it was starting out. Yeah, I wanted to show you this board. This is a simple thing that made a lot of changes here. Because when we're harvesting, we're harvesting for different markets. And so there's one master harvest list, but then when people are washing, it's written on the board, let's say you're doing mescaline, you're bringing that many cases to this market, that many cases to that market, and that many cases to that market, we're gonna write it down. And so it's, 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 it becomes from being harvested, washed, to being stored directly on the right pallets. And that saves us a lot of time. It's really simple, and we haven't invented nothing here, but for us, this board has, you know, speed up the operation so much, because it used to be that we would bring everything inside, and then we would sort everything out on the right boxes when we're making the CSA, when we're bringing stuff to market. Now it's just sorted exactly when we harvest. Uh, besides that, this is a pretty top-end washing station, and I know it, it might be a turnoff for a lot of people, uh, you know, that uh, aren't familiar with my work, work, work here at La Femme de but, you know, we've invested a lot of our effort, time, and money in this washing station because half of the workload here on the farm is washing the veggies. So we're geared, and again, this is a $20,000 a week kind of uh, veggies that we're clearing out of this farm, and so the washing station reflects that size and uh, bubbler, uh, the, the, you know, the uh, four spinners. You want to give us a little skewer, please? Do you want to start just like, with, 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 this is for washing root veg, I'm assuming, or? Yeah, this is, the, this is the root. Uh, That's the carrot washer. Yeah, the carrot, the, the barrel washer for the roots that we do in the fall. Then uh, we have two uh, washing stations for guns, and we use these high pressure guns to really have a lot, a lot of torque. Okay, so that's really important to keep everything clean. And so we have two of these stations, and everything is set up so that the workers will work from left to right. The tables are at the right height so that it's ergonomic for them to do that. Everything is on wheels so that we can configure the washing station differently. The, ma the masterpiece is the bubbler. So I think you, Curtis, and Michael Kilpatrick have talked to your uh, viewers about the bubbler. For us, that was a big part of uh, doing greens here for the last three years. And so the washing machines are hacks from Michael Kilpatrick. And uh, we process about five, five to six hundred pounds a week. And we can go to a thousand next year, but we need a customer base for that which is what we're working on now. And so the bubbler gets filled, it has a shutoff valve, and then you turn on the, uh, the jacuzzi pump and then it just bubbles mm -hmm. and washes the greens really nice. Nice. Those are our casters too. Yeah, everything's on wheels so that we can change the setup according to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So if we have a big batch of carrots, then we'll set it up for carrots. If we have a batch of salamix, we'll set it for salamix. To have versatility, ver, vers, what's versatility, the word? versatility uh, is important. So everything's on the wheels, so you can configure things for as you need them. So how can you put this wall in front of the computer? Because uh, people were watching porn on the computer too much. <laughs> Because and it's uh, distracting people from watching. It, it was, it's distracting people when somebody's on the computer mm -hmm. because they think that the person's not working. Yeah. And then some water was getting onto the computers. Right. And plus, I, I needed the harvest board. Yeah. So I needed to have it. So we put that wall up. Um, and again, you know, this is it's, for people that are out of contact, it might seem like a very expensive thing. But realistically, if you compare what we do here to most big farms, this is, this is nothing. Yeah. So, you know, comparing to somebody that farms a third of an acre, it might seem like huge, but uh, there's 10 of us washing things here, so they, we need to have room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Simple stuff. That's where you pack CSA boxes? Yeah, or, or you sort? Yeah, these are the, these are the, for the chefs. 
And so we'll put the invoices here in a piece of paper. Uh, do I have a piece of paper? Yeah, a little clip, I get it. Okay, and then the, all the orders are there, then the boxes are behind us, and then we go get the veggies from the pallet, and then we sort everything. So we have all the carrots for all the chefs, and then, you know, my worker will see, okay, if this restaurant needs five bunches, she take five bunches and puts it there, she crosses it, and then she goes down. And we do the 20 to 25 different restaurants this week. And uh, so that's the cold room here. So big harvest is tomorrow, so it's, it's quite empty, but it, it pretty much fills. And like I've always said, you know, the uh, cold room should be twice the size you need because it helps to have a lot of airflow and you never want to be too tight that you can't work in it. So it's built that way. And then there's an exit door with the truck that backs up there and then we can show you. So the truck backs up here and then we can roll everything inside the truck. And so these are all more expensive features that you would have on a small, small farm. But again, at the volume of produce that the, this farm generates, these are kind of things that save us so much time because we don't need to rack everything back and forth. We're just rolling. Using the wheels is really, it's been, it's been huge for me to understand the importance of rolling everything uh, instead of moving them around. And I, I'll be 40 soon, so, and I want to keep doing this for a long time. So these are kind of the hacks that for me made a lot of sense.